is the star of the show tonight, James Morrison. Thank you very much. Good evening and welcome to a trumpet blast. Uh, that's the way every gig should start, don't you think? Just nice, absolutely. You know what I think, there's only one thing better than a trumpet. That's two trumpets. <laughs> well, we're going a lot better than that tonight. Uh, it is a great joy to be here tonight to celebrate this wonderful instrument with you. Many of you will be aware that this week the International Trumpet Guild are in town. They're celebrating their conference for the very first time in the Southern Hemisphere here in Sydney. And what better way to wind up a week of trumpeting than here at the Opera House with the Sydney Symphony Orchestra. It doesn't get any better than this, yeah. In this first act, we're going to be hearing the trumpet through the ages, from the Baroque of Charpentier through to the present day with a fabulous work by David Stanhope. And in the second act, I'm going to be saluting many of the great trumpeters of jazz. But before we carry on with the music, there's just there's a couple of aspects of the trumpet I'd like to draw your attention to that you may not have previously considered. I have some notes here. I mean, well, look, firstly, the trumpet is one of the only instruments to be a verb as well as a noun. Think about it, to trumpet, as in he's trumpeting on about his new car. Elephants trumpet wouldn't sound the same with any other instrument, would it? And of course there's that phrase, oh, I, I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but... <laughs> you see, to trumpet is to declare. You know, when a, a king arrives, you don't have heraldic oboes. <laughs> I mean, it'd, it'd be great, but I fear that it might be off with his head if you did that. Um, you know, when the king arrives, you need trumpets. And in the Bible, what about in 1 Corinthians, it doesn't say and in the blink of an eye, the dead shall be raised and the violas shall sound. <laughs> Again, it'd be great, but I think for something as important as the end of time, you need trumpets. <laughs> Speaking of things biblical, of course, the angel Gabriel doesn't play the tenor horn. He plays the trumpet. I guess what I'm trying to say is that if you've got something to say, if you want to make an entrance, if you want to declare the start of something really big, then there will be trumpets. Enjoy. Well, there's James Morrison setting the tone for the concert. And uh, while the orchestra tunes, uh, the leader Michael Dow tune in the orchestra, our next piece is the prelude to the Te Deum by Charpentier, which will once again involve many of the visiting trumpets that have come from all sorts of various places around the world. The USA, Thailand, Singapore, New Zealand, the Philippines, even Greece. Not to say there aren't many wonderful trumpet players in Greece, I didn't mean to make that <laughs> assumption. So we're waiting now for Mark today to return to the stage, and here he comes. Yeah. 